Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale haul. So I'm gonna be breaking this up into portions, timestamps. I'm gonna try to remember to put them in the description box down below. Um, I'm gonna be starting with some exchanges I did before semi-annual sale started, and then I'm gonna go in order of the three weeks I ordered, all of which were online. I didn't buy any three weeks in store this year for semi-annual sale. There just wasn't a whole lot of variety left over after a candle day, and they still haven't really replenished it down in my area at least. So. That's that, but I do have plenty to show y'all from online, and then after that, I think I'm going to work my way into like the tester candles and whatnot, which unfortunately, they're getting rid of the four ounces officially, like they're done. I haven't seen a single one this SAS, which sucks because those are my favorite to keep in my, my candle library, which is like all my no burn candles and whatnot to like compare back to one another, but anyway, I think I'm going to go and get started because I could go over that for... That could be its whole video in of itself. Like, I really hate that they switched out for those seven ounces. But then I do have some body care. Um, overall, I honestly think I'm done for SAS. Uh, these orders have spanned like two or three online orders. I've gone in store a few times to get some body care at this point. So, about five orders total. I think I have maybe one more go around for SAS. And then I think I'm just going to call it quits for winter SAS. But. All right, we're about a minute and a half in, so let me go ahead and show you the exchanges. So starting with number one, I love this one, Sweet Rosemary and Vanilla. Almost all of these will be going in my No Burn collection until I can afford to get backups when they go on sale after SAS because they want to be greedy with their new stuff. But anyway, here's Sweet Rosemary and Vanilla. Kind of basic packaging, really basic lid. We've seen this in a few collections now, but the wax is really, really pretty teal. The notes are fresh rosemary, whew, fresh rosemary, Sweet vanilla cake and whipped frosting. It, this kind of gives me like an ice box cake. So it's kind of like you made a cake, had like a sweetened condensed milk whipped cream kind of mixture to use like pudding mixture to put as a filling and then whipped cream on top. That's kind of what I'm getting from this. The cake note in this is a very wet cake and not quite, it's not cake batter. It's not sweet enough and rich enough and buttery enough in my opinion to be a cake batter. But it definitely does smell like a, almost like a Tres Leches cake. So that's the vibe I'm getting from this. The rosemary is very sharp and astringent. But the rosemary and... I mean, I will say it does definitely smell like whipped cream. It has that light, airy, just whipped topping kind of vibe. It doesn't smell like marshmallow sweet or whipped. I don't really get too much vanilla from it. So I think I'm going to stick with that. This one's kind of like a rosemary, what I imagine a rosemary icebox cake or rosemary trust left chase cake would smell like. Um, I do love it, honestly. This is one of the most different scents they've had out in recent years, at least in my opinion. I like these conceptual weird kind of scents, but I'm just worried that other people aren't going to love this as much as I do. And it's going to be like Sriracha or something crazy from the Test Lab collection. Just showing off the wax. I love that color. Where it's like only like... 5% of the whole kale community actually likes the scent and wants it to come back and it never does. So moving on, pumpkin snickerdoodle, which is very similar in packaging to another pumpkin cookie scent I have to show y'all. But this one is warm sugar cookies, ground cinnamon, fresh nutmeg. This just smells like snickerdoodle cookies. There's no pumpkin spice really to this. Maybe if you really, really look for it, you can kind of get a pumpkin note. But to me, it just smells like warm, homemade snickerdoodles. I make snickerdoodles a lot, especially during the winter. I only made it once this year, so I think I might go ahead and make another batch soon. But yeah. If you like pumpkin pecan waffles, you will like this. They could be cousins, I guess. But this doesn't have the nuttiness, and it also doesn't have that maple note. So, definitely not the same, but they could definitely be cousins. I like it. I like it enough that I would honestly maybe get one or two more, think about it, but anyway, I saw this one in store back when it was an online only scent, so I did rush to pick it up, but yeah, I mean, it's it's okay, it's good, but it's not one that I would need like four or five of. I feel like a vendor could easily dupe that or have another oil that just smells like it. Here we have vanilla peach, vanilla and peach tea. The notes are peach tea, sweet vanilla cream, fresh oat milk. I will say you do get that oat milk vibe. I've had oat milk on more than one occasion. 
it's a good alternative to milk if you want something that's better than almond milk. I promise you that. Okay, so this isn't like a peach sweet southern iced tea. This gives me more of like a vanilla peach boba tea. That's kind of what I'm getting out of this. I mean, it's good. It's nice. It's definitely not what I was expecting, and I feel like I could make something better with a vendor. I don't know. It's I love a good tea scent, specifically like matcha scents, but this is definitely reading more, uh, giving me a little bit more like a black tea, rooibos tea, maybe. The peach is pretty authentic in this. It doesn't smell like their peach ring, kind of peach bellini vibe. But I mean, I will say you do definitely get that lightly spiced oat milk in the background and that's kind of what's giving me a boba tea vibe, I feel. Because that's how I make my boba teas with oat milk. I like it. I like enough to get a few backups of this, honestly, when it goes on sale. The packaging is really minimal, basic, nothing to really write home about. The scent, although I really do feel like would be a really great hit and I'm glad I was able to get one. This one, this one broke my heart because there was only one in the store when I was going to exchange this. I was originally going to get like four or five on candle day, but they didn't have any coupons. They raised their price for candle day. So I, I just decided to sit out and use the money towards SAS, which is what I ended up doing. Uh, I think I also did a few vendors orders with that money too instead, but I was able to find one in store all by itself. So I made sure to go ahead and pick it up. This is definitely one of their best Christmas scents they've released. Honestly, this may have just worked its way into my top 10 candles of all time since I've been into Bath & Body Works. The notes on it are baked Madeline cookie, spiced almond, sweet orange, and toasted coconut. Mary Madeline cookie. This smells divine. Honestly, if y'all still see these in the stores or if you can catch it online, I think online when it pops back up every now and then, it's $11.50 online. So well worth it in my opinion. Well worth paying the shipping, honestly. I can I will never, I don't think I will ever get tired of this scent. So first and foremost, you do get kind of like an almond biscotti kind of cookie base. And you can definitely pick out like the almond extract in this, that spiced almond quote unquote is reading definitely a little bit more towards like a cherry almond extract that you'd use into an almond biscotti that has actual toasted almonds and get that vibe. And the sweet orange and coconut, I don't know why, but that orange is just giving it the exact right amount of like that citrus fresh pop of fragrance and depth that this scent really did need to tie it together. And that light toasted coconut, I, mm, I don't know. I've been going back and forth in my head with like, I mean, I've done it before, like for my birthday this last year, we did a pink pebble tea cake cake for my birthday. So, I mean, I like kind of duping Bath & Body Works candles into actual food. So this might actually be one I have to try soon because I, oh, I am just in love with this scent. I could smell it all day. Honestly, I really could be here wasting all this time all day, but that was the only one in store I was able to find at the time. And this, I believe this was an online exclusive at the time, but I've been seeing it pop up in all the stores down here, at least in Texas, Palo Santo. And the notes are Palo Santo wood, warm amber, soft musk. I feel like anyone who's watching this probably knows what this smells like right now. Especially if you're in the vendor wax scene, it smells exactly the same. This is what they do the Palo Santo scent off of. At least most of the Palo Santo oils you smell out there right now are duped up from Bath and Body Works. Just that warm, comforting, inviting, cleansing kind of scent. It really does just shift the whole air in your home. I, I mean, I love it. So here's Palo Santo. I finally got me one of those little cutout handles. So when you burn these, uh, the light shines through the packaging and they look really pretty. So happy about that. This one was honestly just out of desperation at the time. Uh, if they had had another Mary Madeline cookie, this would have been the first one to go. And I honestly thought about getting another sweet rosemary and vanilla over this one. But I thought I would go ahead and try it. It's cookies and cream milkshake. The notes on this are chocolate cookie crumbles, vanilla bean ice cream, and chocolate drizzle. And if you can't tell by the notes, this sounds like it would be a dead dupe of hot, or not hot, hot cocoa and cream, hot fudge sundae. 
and it kind of does, but I mean, I agree with most of the people on Instagram saying this smells more like hot cocoa and cream. To me, it kind of smells like you mix both of those candles together and you got cookies and cream milkshake. Because I can definitely pick out that Smucker's kind of, you know, fudge topping mixture, but then I also do get that powdered hot cocoa with marshmallows in this. So that's that's what I'm going with. I'm gonna go with that this is a 50-50 blend or maybe a 60-40 blend of hot cocoa and cream and uh, hot fudge sundae. If you have both of those candles, do you need this one? No, not at all, not even in a tiny little bit. And they did like a little rip off of the Oreo logo, like, ugh, I don't know. It looks kind of tacky, the packaging, I'm not gonna lie. This part of it's kind of cute, I guess, but I mean, at least right Bath and Body Works on the Oreo knockoff or whatever, but anyway. Um, if you have hot coconut cream and hot fudge sundae, you don't need this. You could mix the two of them together, burn them both at the same time, and you'd get the same vibe. But if you don't have either of them, or if you're a candle collector like me and you just want to add something to your candle library, this is a good reminder of what the two of them smell like together. So there's that. Sorry about all the shaking, but I'm going to move that out the way so I can get into my online order candles. So y'all remember me talking about Mary Madeline Cookie? Well, I went a little crazy online when I saw it. So I got my four that I would have gotten on candle day. So now I have four to burn and chop up. So I'm really excited about it. You already heard my thoughts on it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move these off to the side as well. So speaking of another scent from winter that I'm glad that they, I don't know, people go back and forth if this is a dupe of snow apple and mint, but whether it is or isn't, I'm very happy and excited that they brought this one back, Frosted Spearmint. Got three of these. The notes on it are frozen apple, snow-capped mint, creamy sandwich, and iced musk. And I stand by what I said. This smells like straight up like a church during Christmas. I and it's borderline traumatizing, I'm not gonna lie, but I don't know. It just it really does remind me of walking into a chapel. I don't know. That's just the vibe it gives off. I don't know how else to describe it. The mint in this isn't like a in your face spearmint or Peppermint is just a really soft, subtle, like mint you'll see in like body care oftentimes is the kind of vibe it gives off. I don't know, this is just what, I don't, again, there is no other better way for me to describe this other than like it's church during Christmas. So I'm gonna leave it at that, but I highly recommend this if y'all can still get it online. Sometimes it'll pop up for 11.52. Speaking of pumpkin cookie candles, here we have pumpkin cookie dough. The notes on this are homemade cookie dough, creamy pumpkin, cinnamon sugar. I mean, it just smells like cookie dough with a light, light, light tinge of pumpkin spice. Something slightly different than Mary Cookie to melt and burn, so I wanted to get this. It's good. It's nice. Is it a necessity? I say so. But I also wouldn't, like, charge an or I wouldn't pay an arm and a leg for this scent, if that makes sense. So, I'm just going to leave that review at that. So, these are only two single ones I have left. One Acorn Lane and one Dutch Apple Waffle. Now it's on Dutch Apple Waffle. Warm buttermilk waffles, baked apple slices, ground nutmeg. Mm -mm -mm. This is better than Apple Crumble. I'm a, I, I know I just pissed a lot of people off right now. I just know I did. I know people who love Apple Crumble and love the nasty wallflowers that they have online still, or you can find at the outlet every now and then. They grasp, grasping them pearls, I know, but this is definitely better than apple crumble. Apple crumble is very Mac apple and I'm not a big fan of Mac apple to begin with, but then the bakery they use just doesn't deliver. This smells like a Sunday morning, okay? Like, y'all just got up and you're making breakfast. Dutch apple waffles is what's on the menu. That's the vibe it gives off to me. Also, that green color is amazing. And then Acorn Lane, Autumn Leaves, Warm Cinnamon, uh, Crisp Gala Apples. Now this, it's not too different from scents we've seen in the past. I mean, kind of like a Cider Lane, you took out the apple and you added more cinnamon. Kind of similar to Leaves, except you have a better apple base note for sure. 
but it leans more heavy into the spices and outdoors side of it instead of the apple, whereas leaves is the opposite, but leaves has that nasty rotted apple scent, so. I mean, if you like leaves and you wanna try something different, Acorn Lane is a really good one. If you hate leaves and you want an improvement on it, get Acorn Lane. Oh, this one, I love this one so much. And this one, I do believe it is fully sold out online. But here we have Apple Garland. I believe this one was an online exclusive as well. Uh, made with eucalyptus, cedarwood, essential oils with notes of gala apple and mistletoe. This just smells like a Christmas wreath. This is one of the best, like, fresh gala apple scents I've ever smelled in my life. I wish there was more of this apple note in Acorn Lane because that could replace leaves for me completely and entirely. But whereas Acorn Lane reads a little bit more like Thanksgiving time and leaves does admittedly lean a little bit more like starting of, you know, fall and autumn. This is perfect start to your Christmas, a perfect end to your Christmas. The eucalyptus adds that slight freshness, that herbaceous kind of freshness. But it's not sharp, it's not heavy, it's just kind of there to add more depth to the blend. I adore this scent. And that green color, that's a beautiful green. It's very blue heavy without it being quite teal, so I got two of those. And lastly for three weeks, so again, after this, I'm going to just pause the video, start a new video, I'm going to stitch them together. So I can't edit, I don't edit, so when I stitch them together, it might look a little weird and funky. I do try my best, but... Just giving you all that heads up now. The last two is also an online exclusive and one of my absolute favorites, Sparkling Woods. Why in God's name was this online exclusive? First off, that beautiful maroon color, the stellar packaging. Look at this bear, the crown on the bear. This would go perfect with that bear candle holder first off. The label is hella wonky. Uh, made with lavender, fur needle, and notes of bergamot and iced lemon. I personally do pick up like a slight hint, like very, very slight hint of like a gingered bergamot kind of combo. And I'm not the biggest fan of ginger, but this definitely reads a little bit more uh, fresh ginger that's not been like cut open and that's all you smell. Ginger can be very overpowering in a blend, at least to me. It can be very overpowering in dishes too. But um, the bergamot in this as that lemon kind of, it's almost always used in like ocean kind of colognes or sea spray kind of colognes or body care. But in this, it kind of gives more of a, this kind of gives me flannel, but you took away that, and I, I don't know, maybe I'll catch some heat for this. But flannel does have a slight, slight laundry note. I'm talking like 10% or less in there that you kind of have to look for when you're burning it But it does have that bergamot cologne kind of vibe that reads more winter than it does spring summer cologne um, That's the same kind of bergamot in here, but this also has that tree note and that lemon where it's very uh Almost like a candied lemon not not lemon drops. It's not that sour. It's more sweet like a like a lemon wedge. Do y'all remember those lemon wedge gummy candies? That's kind of the vibe it gives off with that tree scent. Personally, I don't get any lavender in this. But yeah, overall, that's kind of the vibe that they give off to me. Just a sexy, sweet, wintry outdoors cologne. So with that being said, I believe this is 21 three wicks I've gotten uh, for SAS and right before SAS. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video off, and I'm going to start the next one now. All right, so continuing on, here are the tester candles I got, or tester candles. Some of them are testers in the literal sense, where they're used for wallflowers. Other ones are just ones that they had in stock. So, uh, some range between $6 and 75% off. I still need to go back in and get my price adjustment on some of them. But anyway, here's two orange zest and sea spray. I don't believe these newer ones have the note. Yeah, these newer ones don't have the notes on them, but I will say this just kind of smells like an orange starburst, really sweet sugary orange uh, with like a light salty sea air kind of background to it. Here we have two white balsam and vanilla. I kind of just saw this one and I realized that white balsam and vanilla, I believe at least was an online exclusive, but I didn't know if this was just vanilla balsam or what. 
And I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't think this is vanilla balsam. I get more of like a marshmallow fireside balsam and firewood combo between uh, white balsam and vanilla to plain vanilla balsam. And I don't know, maybe my nose is just tricking me. Maybe I need to sniff them side by side again, but I think that's the best way I can describe it. Sorry, my dog's gonna be drinking a little bit of water. So this, I mean, to me it's not vanilla balsam. To me, this is balsam and firewood plus marshmallow fireside. I do like the combo. I wish I was able to find more, but I'm content with the two I have for now. Maybe next SAS I'll find more. Maybe the next time I go into the store, I'll get some. Next up, we have the Perfect Autumn. This one I know for sure was 75% off. And the notes on this one, if I can read past the sticker residue, is fresh cranberry, spiced pumpkin, and crisp apple. I love this. This... Mm. Definitely better than leaves in my opinion. Highly, highly, highly recommend this one. Um, kind of like a frosted cranberry meets leaves, sort of. Um, except I do still believe the apple in this one is better. Next up, uh, Fresh Sparkling Snow. I love this one. I'm glad to see it made a comeback. This one, the newer ones, it doesn't have the notes. It's just like a cucumber melon minus the cucumber, plus just a generic pear body care kind of vibe. Kind of like their air scent they kind of bring out for SAS every now and then. That's what this smells like to me. Love it. Highly recommend it if you can find it still. I really wish that they would bring it out in like stores for once in a three wick instead of just putting it on my exclusive or whatever. But anyway, next up we have white tea and sage. This is just white tea and ginger, except you swapped out the ginger for the sage in uh, vanilla sage. Essentially that's all they did classic i love it really great relaxing scent um definitely not the strongest it's probably one of the weakest scents i got but um it's still good to have in the collection so there's that i really wish they'd bring white tea and pear back now that that was a good one um and i also kind of wish that they would do more with their white tea than just at like swap out a second note you know what i mean like i don't know i feel like a white tea and cookie kind of vibe would be cool or I don't know, just like white teas, cookie, and laundry, white tea, cookie. Maybe like a lavender, marshmallow, merry cookie, white tea combo. Just something different. I don't know. But, I mean, their white tea scents tend to be good, except that white tea and ginger. That ginger is way too strong in there. Anyway, moving on. Here we have gingham in the little pretty packaging. I actually like this uh, form of gingham. Blue freesia, white peach, fresh clementine. This one's great with laundry scents. This is... This is honestly just one of the signature Bath & Body Works scents that I'm surprised they didn't make a scent like this sooner, but I'm glad to have it. I don't believe I have any three wicks of this. I know I have like one of the actual four ounce testers. I think I have one or two like this, but I wanted to get one in the nice little fancy packaging. Moving on, here we have Party Dress and Merry Mimosa. Started with Party Dress. This doesn't have the notes, but dark sensual kind of like a patchouli light berry kind of mature perfume is the vibe it gives off i was gonna get some three wicks on candle day but again i explained why that didn't end up working out in the first part but there's party dress mary mimosa is just one of those classic kind of like champagne apple kind of scents. it's not like champagne apple and honey body care but this is a good alternative for New Year's, especially for those of us who don't like champagne toast. I still loathe champagne toast. It's nasty. It's a godforsaken scent. Uh, you also hate peach bellini. I, at least I do. If you hate those two and you still want something that has like a New Year's vibe that's like a New Year's drink kind of vibe, Mary Mimosa is great for that. I love Mary Mimosa. Moving on, we have peppermint sugar cookie. This is one I wish so badly I would have gotten more three wicks of, but again, it's just completely sold out. This smells like those uh, loft house cookies that you find in the grocery store everywhere, plus peppermint. Simple, easy description. I still love it, but man, do I wish I was able to find more uh, online or in-store for SAS. Lavender Pine. This is pretty self-explanatory. It's very astringent in both its pine note and its lavender note. Very sinus clearing. But I also do feel like this one would be a good scent to just clear out the air in your home. 
I hope they bring the three wicks out in this in the store too because I would definitely purchase the three wicks. I just, again, with online, I just really hate paying the shipping on it. Sorry, my chair is still squeaky. I need to use some WD-40 on it. But personally, I'm just... Is it my favorite lavender scent? Definitely not. Is my favorite tree scent? No. But it's a nice combo. I would definitely buy two or three three wicks maybe. But for now, having this in my collection will be just fine. And we're down to our last two. Eucalyptus, Snowfall, and Warm Apple Pie. So Warm Apple Pie, this one actually has the notes. Baked Granny Smith Apple, Melted Butter, or Melted Brown Sugar, and Flaky Homemade Pine Crust. This is just... Mm. This and Dutch Apple Waffle, mm. when they do Apple Bakery right, they do Apple Bakery right. This one definitely does read more tart apple, not as sugary sweet. But that buttery flaky pie crust is just, mm. it's almost like a graham cracker pie crust meets like a pastry pie crust. That buttery brown sugar vibe is just amazing. I absolutely love warm apple pie, so I'm glad I was able to find at least a tester in it this year. And lastly, you clipped a snowfall. This one also doesn't have the notes on it. Um, this one, it, to be honest, it kind of smells like uh, some kind of Axe body spray. Sort of like maybe like a speed stick deodorant, I think, is the closest thing I can equate it to. Which isn't bad, it's not my go-to vibe for a cologne. Like if I want a cologne, like I'm probably gonna go Tom Ford. Um, kind of vibe, you know what I mean? Like in wax at least, those are more fun to blend with. They have a more expensive kind of background to it. This smells like something you could get at Walmart, which I mean, isn't bad, but in candle form, to be honest, if I had smelled this in the store, I'm not sure I would have gotten it, but it does give me like a soapy, clean kind of vibe, you know? So, I mean, there's that at least, but that's it for all the tester candles I have going on to body care now. All right, so this is gonna be the last and final part, soap, body care, and accessories. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the free items I got in my online order. I had two free item coupons. I got the cute little polar bear soap holder. I don't think I was supposed to have been able to get it, but there was a little glitch that was happening. So this I think was still like 16 something after the sale or whatever that they had on it. But it let me use it on not only a sale item, but something that was more than 1650, I believe. And then I got the Cedarwood Vanilla uh, Sleep Body Spray and Pillow Mist to go with the lotion I have. So there's those two pieces. And the only other accessory piece I got, which is weird for me, because usually I go crazy, crazy, I go crazy over their accessories during SAS. This is the only thing that they had that was really like interesting and like well worth the price is a little Santa boot. Can't really use it as like a candle holder or nothing, but it's good to like put. Let me see if I have enough room to show y'all. Oh, see, I baked something. I baked some seven layer bars in the meantime while I was waiting on the transitions and whatnot. But anyway, I mean, you look at this and you can fit like two shower gels comfortably in there. You could do a shower gel, a lotion, whatever. Uh, but anyway, there's that. You can't really use it for much other than that, honestly, but uh, still well worth it in my opinion. This was like seven bucks after my coupon. So move that out the way because that takes up way too much space. And I'm gonna go with the only other thing that's like not really a part of like the soaps or body care really. Um, I got the little Mary Cookie lip gloss and the little ornament packaging. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it out of the back. I'm gonna use it up and then once it's done being used, uh, I'm gonna put it back in here, glue the back and use this as an ornament still because I think this is really cute. So I don't wanna waste it. So there's that. Now, I think I'm gonna go in, I'm not gonna show all the soaps and stuff at the same time because I got them at different times with different things. So just in my head, that's gonna make it easier for me to go between what I got the first day of SAS and uh, what I got at the outlet. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. You already kind of saw them, but here I got two sweet whiskey shower gels. I thought I got a shower gel and a lotion, but I got two shower gels. So I had to get the lotions later. Uh, got a shower gel in bourbon this one was actually a christmas gift my bad so that one isn't exactly first day at sas so my bad 
Uh, here we have one set of lotion and shower gel gingerbread latte. Another set of a lotion and shower gel and gingerbread latte. And a spray and gingerbread latte. I'm glad that they finally brought it back out in store. I wasn't taking any chances. So I went ahead and I stocked up while I could. So I would honestly go ahead and get another maybe set or two. This is just one of my favorite body care scents of all time. I adore it. Highly, highly recommend. I don't think I'm going to go over each scent because honestly at this point I'm kind of tired. And I want to eat my food. So I'm going to like speed through it. Most of the stuff you know what it's going to smell like at this point I feel like. So I'm just going to keep it moving. I got a gentle gel hand soap and marshmallow fireside. This one, I believe this one was on a $3 table and not half off or three fifty. One vanilla bean Noel. I hope that didn't show up on camera. My phone went down to 10%. So if it did, oops, if not, please ignore me. <laughs> this one actually kind of opened already, which I didn't mean to, but it's whatever. This is a gentle gel in vanilla bean oil and another gentle gel in coconut mint drop. Now for what I got at the outlet, I went ahead and I thought, well, since I got two shower gels, I might as well go ahead and just pick up two lotions. Sweet whiskey, not the biggest fan of this packaging. To be honest, I prefer the old one, but they didn't have any of it, let alone have it on sale. So. Fortunately, I wasn't able to pick that up. Uh, would I pick up another set? I don't think so. I think two is more than enough of that for me. I would definitely pick up another set of gingerbread latte though. Maybe another two sets if I can find it 75% off. And again, I still need to go back in and get my price adjustments on some of this stuff. So there's that as well. Oh, I'll drop my little body cream. I got, this is the only set I was able to get a sparkling plum, plum Prosecco. This is legitimately the only set my store had at the outlet. They had uh, maybe one or two more sprays and then maybe five or six more of the body creams, but I hate the body creams if y'all didn't know. Um, I just prefer the lotions in general. I prefer the feel. They don't leave me as greasy for as long. Um, I, I even think their body butters are better than their creams, but this is legit all they had. So uh, this is also all they had. There's only one shower gel. So I made sure to swoop that up, but if I find some more, I would definitely get like another set of maybe like a shower gel and a mist. Or if I find the lotions, like I'll clear them out. Like I will buy every last lotion they have, but there's that. Then I got these two, they're kind of loners. They didn't have anything else in the set, but I did love the scents enough that I want to get at least one of each. I got little black dress and a mist, pretty packaging. Uh, Ebony Violet has a really good dupe of this for wax. So, I mean, I'm not going to wait for Bath & Body Works to bring out a candle or anything of it. But, um, I just wanted the mist. I mean, I love the scent enough that I would have gotten it in a set or two. But, this is all they had. So, I didn't want to go crazy on it. And, the last single piece is Sugar Cherry Crisp Lotion. They didn't have any shower gels. They didn't have any creams, mist, or nothing of it. But, I mean, this smells like a body care version of Sweet Cherry Pie. So, pick that up and lastly we're down to just some soaps and then I'm officially done I can stitch all these together and post it to YouTube fresh sparkling snow I went over what I thought about it earlier in candle form so it's the exact same as soap form beautiful beautiful packaging uh, if I could find it for something cheaper than three dollars if it was part of a 250 table or 75% off I would buy another two or three of this and these two are 75% off fresh lemonade. It's watermelon lemonade without the watermelon note. That's essentially it. So here's the last shot of the video. Uh, I think I might have maybe one more SAS haul in me. Maybe two if I get a good enough amount of money back from the uh, price adjustments on some of these. Because I know they've gone lower since then. But uh, yeah. That's it for the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what y'all's favorite finds at SAS this year were. Um, and let me know if y'all found any 75% off candles because I haven't seen a single one down here and it's kind of disappointing. But anyway, I'm going to end the video off here now. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. Stay safe, stay smart, stay informed. Bye.